Alright, that's just worthless. I need to get rid of it. We need duplicates. One for each of us. Don't have any, do I? I must, actually. Ah, the golden pelts are the raven eggs. The raven egg would become... It would just become a 0-4 with uh, fledgling. Or I can combine the golden pelts to clean up my deck bloats. And then get a combined rare thing once I turn them in. Do the golden pelts. You, you should. You don't want to see this. Oh no. Monsters. What? What have we done? Created something beautiful. Moving on. The squirrel. We love it. The ringworm. We hate it. Worker ants. They're gonna be coming in. It's four damage right off the bat. Not good. Anything I put in front of them dies. Squirrel. Block one. That's it for now. End turn. Bad starting hand. We need to recover. A B. Hmm. We could lose this, actually. I'm gonna need to use items. 100%. What do we do? I can use the hook to take one of theirs. Would be good. I can use the knife to balance the scale. The opossum. First we draw a squirrel. We're gonna use the opossum here to just block some damage. For science, can I sacrifice it? No. You can't play that presently, but your squirrel is free. Okay, so that thing's gonna come in. One, two, three. Even if I block this, this will be a three, two, and will come in and uh, end me. The starting handle's terrible, and his starting handle's amazing. Um, I do have the B. B can block. I need to kill this thing, but I literally have three zero ones in my hand, which is devastating. You'll give me an item if I play you. Maybe I s sacrifice you. Put you out here. Hopefully you'll give me a good item, maybe. Play you. Have you die instead of the, uh, B. A boulder. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what we need right there. Give me this boulder. Play it here. If I knew I was going to get that, I would play the squirrel there. Go about the squirrel, do its thing. Next turn, I suppose. Actually, I could trade the squirrel for the raven egg, and then you turn into a... Yeah. We'll do that. You'll fly over that. Dealing damage every turn. So many worker ants. It's so hard to deal with. I need something. Bullfrog is not it. Can't sacrifice anything to put you down. The raven's the only thing. I think we just lose. Unless we take one of your worker ants. Make it ours. There we are. Can always get more items. Well, the hooks. That's the, you only get that hook once per run. Perhaps I should have just lost the flame. You, you can lose one flame per map. No penalty. I need to draw CG plays. That's what I need to do. Okay, so... Hmm. Useless. The one, two... Doesn't kill anything. Need to draw CG. The stoat is a 1-3. Hmm. I could trade the 1-3. Yeah. We'll die anyways. Keep the stoat in there to take him out. You're gonna die. I can trade you for a bullfrog. No. I have to do. Need to kill these worker ants. I believe in you. Stout. Look at his face, he's all sad. Grab a squirrel. Put it here. I actually don't want to kill the bullfrogs. That brings another worker ant, actually. Leave it alive. Draw this. Squirrel blocks this. I had to use two items to get it done, but... Well, actually three, was it? 
bee will fly over you and then... Oh wait, no. What have we done? The bee will... The bullfrog will leap up and block and then die, and that brings in the worker ant next turn, which is no good for us. I'm actually going to sacrifice the bee for the useless ringworm. It'll actually do some good by not attacking. Never mind, we won't anyways. I'd use some items to get it done, but hopefully we won't need those for the rest of the run. Choose by blood. This has almost no chance of getting the CG plays card. I guess it could, maybe. Another one would be good. Oh, well, I haven't used this thing in a while. We could restock our items. I mean, we got we got creatures for that. Let's go this way. This way. Yeah. We, so this is infinite uses. That's nice, actually. Glad we finally have that. Ooh. See? Made the right choice. It's a 3-2 that costs 1. Which is, for a death card, not that amazing. But for um, any other card, it's not bad. Most of your 1-cost cards are like a 1-2 or a 2-2 two -two with little to no sigils. Kingfisher. Skink. Clearly. A 3-2 for 1 is the winning choice. We'll do this. The sacrifices must be made. Oh, if I recall correctly, you sacrifice these and they give you, like, teeth, right? So it's just a good way to clean up your deck. Like, I don't, I don't want this I don't want this ringworm in my deck. It's a good way to clean out bad cards out of your deck. Sacrifice it. It's gone. Oh no, it gives, actually, it gives you one of these. Yeah, I forgot. It gives you a bone card. That bone card gives you, like, bones at the start of every round. I don't really use that many bone creatures, to be honest. It's just good to have the thing out of my deck. Yeah, it just gives you a bone at the start of every turn. Not worth sacrifice a good creature, but... Good way to get rid of bad cards. Oh, hello. 3-2, there we go. Alright, we can't deal anything about those guys, because they're waterborne. Alright, so we will use the squirrel to stop 2 damage from you. And... well, the golden pelt. Oh, I guess we just wait. There we are. Ouch. Hmm. And a sparrow coming in. Alright, well... Draw a squirrel. Squirrel. That ground thing is literally the only one that can kill it. And then we, uh... Use the bee... To summon... CG plays. Actually, he'll flap and block that damage. Won't he? Because of that leapfrog ability. We end turn. There we are. Tip the scales. A river roger, huh? It's fine. No. Squirrel's a little less useful. We need actual strong creatures. Why are you... Why do you have... Why do you have damage? Oh! He has leader. That's right. So... And he killed that before he could kill it back. We could put the stone in its place. Well, draw a card. Oh, hello. Clearly. You go here. And you go here. Bad play? You're wrong. We just won. Overkill too. You know nothing, Stoat. You know nothing. I have no pelts to trade in. So I think she'll give me teeth. Have you brought me fine pelts? Or he will. I don't know what it is. Oh wait, never mind. I do have them. I'm stupid. Hair pelts. What do we want? Gotta think of the death card too. You need at least one thing with high hit points. Wait, don't we have the yearly whatever? We do. We don't need another like expensive card. Um, Rat King? No. Elk? I don't think so. Black Goat? No. Touch of Death? Yes, actually. Mm, the Bell? Probably not terrible. I never did never did get to use that, but the uh, Touch of Death. Clear winner. That Pelt. That is quite unusual. Oh my. A 14-14 yearly. And we could combine it at the, whatever you call them, guys, mysologists for a 2121. Imagine that became our death card. God dear. <laughs> it's almost like, do, do you even need a 2121 at that point? 6-6. Six, six. 
zero to clearly the 1414. I'll make good use of these. Okay. We can fuse clearly. Clearly. What do we infuse? Hmm. The touch of death is good. Yeah. That's why I got you. To infuse you. <laughs> Who wants a touch of death? Hmm. Something cheap? You actually have bad survivability. Two hit points, but you'll block up and get killed by fire flyers and stuff. Let them go over the top. We need something with good survivability. You guys are lethal anyways, almost. Um... So, which of you has the best survival? Probably you have the best survivability. A 1 3. As long as they don't do 3 damage, let's survive 2 turns. Kill a couple. Not my best options. Honestly, I'm tempted just to, uh. <laughs> like, pick a different ability to infuse. I'm not sure that's the. I want something with, like, better hit points, maybe. I could do fledgling into something. <laughs> I could do fledgling into CG plays. Yeah. Get, get, get that 0 2 out of my deck. Give CG plays a chance to grow stronger. Yeah. Three sigils. Onward. Oh. Crater smoke. You beheld an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond, where a few gullish birds snapped them up. Foolish and some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. Bring fish. An extra bone. The Bone King. I if a bone deck is viable. I don't, feel like, I don't feel like you get very many chances to draw bone cards. What do you have? A Kingfisher that I literally cannot kill ever. Is there any way to kill a Kingfisher at all? I guess you can like steal it or something. Um. Hmm. Well, I could put CG plays down right now. You... You don't actually kill my cards, do you? No. Put you down. And... I could end your first turn. Literally right now. Whatever I put down will get bait put in front of it. So probably just have him, because he can actually kill the bait in turn. Ah, we move. Oh, he's gonna try and take it. Just to make sure just to make sure he doesn't take it. There you go. You can have that. And we'll just wait here, because yeah. CG plays literally ends it like that. Told you that card is overpowered if you draw it early. Go fish. And this is no big deal because he he kills that. Someone's a great shark that can't kill him. And he kills it and... Yeah. I can literally just... Draw cards and wait. I've already won. There's no, there's no need to do anything. Go fish. Oh, never mind. We moved out of the way. Oh, that was actually really dangerous. I forgot about the whole moving thing. Oh, we need something to... Something to eat that damage. I forgot about the whole moving out of the way thing. That was dangerous. You know what? Just in case. There we go. There we are. Let's stop that nonsense. Yeah, draw another one. Put a B instead. Lucky that thing wasn't a 5 2, otherwise, we would have lost right then and there. There we go. He likes those bait buckets, though. Hmm. Put a squirrel here. I'm afraid to put another uh, damage dealer down because it'll. If he puts a bait bucket in front of it, it just makes things harder. I just rely on the bees flying over them to kill him. Or that. Yeah. That works too. Reignite. Thank you. Perhaps one of these will entice you. I wonder, if I wonder if it's possible to leave without taking. Probably just press S, but I don't want to take that risk. Long Elk. 
Good for the touch of death infusion. Pack rat. You can always infuse the pack rat ability into something else. Amalgam. It's a, just a 3-3. Three, three. I don't like these two costs, though. I'll take the long elk. Get some use out of these bones. There we are. Shaken, but with a newfound resolve, you move past the pond where the angler now lay. We murdered him. Let me think. Very well. Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way up to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from their landscape like prickly, misplaced teeth. You continued on through the snow line. Very well. If you insist. Hmm. Take a risk for a good card. The guaranteed. Items. What are my items looking like? We do need items. Although it's not hard to replace them. Totems. We'll go this way. Take a chance. Take a risk. Gamble. What do we get? The Trial of Blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. The Trial of Kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. I should be checking this. Blood. I mean, just draw this or this. Some of them are pretty cheap, though. There's a okay chance of winning that one. Kin. Um... I never tend to have a lot in the way of kin. The Trial of Power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. Um, well, draw that and you're good. Draw that and you're good. That and... I think our odds are very good on power. Good odds. Let the trial power begin. Okay, there we go. Just that easy. Eleven total. You've passed. What do we get? Ringworm. But it has... Mighty Leap. No good. Wolf Cub. With Hefty. I don't love Hefty, to be honest. Or Grizzly. With Corpse Eater. That's actually extremely good. Literally plays itself for free with Corpse Eater. I'll take that. Without a doubt. What do we have here? Items. Refill my goods. A squirrel. A single token... One tooth is honestly not that great. A frozen possum can actually block more than one damage. Frozen possum. Although, being able to summon frozen possum, I think. Now this thing can sometimes be a game changer. Give one strong boy flying, just fly over and insta-kill them. Yeah. The bird leg fan. All your creatures have airborne. That can sometimes win you around in one turn by bypassing all their defenses. The next battle. The bone card. Squirrel. Great draw. You like to toot your own horn, don't you? Elk fawn. Can't move because it's pinned. They're all going to transform. These should become 2-3 flyers. You become a 2-4 that slides around. Problematic. Well. We do have the adder. Hmm. I can play the squirrel here, it dies, and the bee can... blocks that damage. And yeah, the adder can insta-kill whatever it wants next. That'll do. Porcupine over there, huh? Thank you. Alright. Hmm. Question is... We should use the, use the adder to kill the one with the most hit points, the elk fawn. Or actually, you can probably kill the elk farm before it transforms with just anything, really. It takes two to summon it, anyways. Stink bug to uh, start working. It'll transform, right? Hmm. Draw the squirrel. Use the stink bug to kill the elk fawn. There we go. And then. Squirrel to block this damage and do your thing. Hmm. We wait. The ravens coming in for four damage, actually. Hopefully we... Next. No, this turn. Dangerous. Mistakes may have been made. Three fledgling cards. Fledgling... Them playing three fledgling cards for the baddest. Just hard to deal with. 
Hmm. The flyers won't actually attack the other flyers. They'll fly around them. Hmm. I might need to use items. The frozen opossum can be used to block the porcupine. And the knife can be used for hit points. The fan can make my guys fly. I don't actually need that right now. I can use the adder. Stinkbug needs to stay there to turn that into a zero two. The two bees can be used to put the adder down to kill the raven. I think is the call there. Return to draw. Um, hopefully we'll draw like. Nope, not what I'm looking for. The bees go here. Sacrifice them. The adder to kill one of these. You cancel that out. I need this to stop you for a time. Then you are a problem. I need these raven eggs on my deck. Hmm. I think we have to end turn here. Um. We're dealing one damage to you. Killing that. That, would, that raven would hit me for lethal next turn. Who needs two eyes anyways? We're not poking out her eye, we're just scratching her nose. It's fine. Don't worry about it. There we are. That buys us time. Just need more time. Alright. Alright, Stinkbug deals with you. So we're losing one damage per turn right now to the Raven, but we have some to carry us. Alright then. My need is the squirrel. I could use to sacrifice some of the bullfrog. I could hope to draw. Actually, the bullfrog buys me time by taking a few hits. Or one hit. Adds up, though. Will flying help? One. I don't know if it will. I'm using a lot of items this time. Okay. Useless raven egg. I can use, actually, I can summon you for an item, though. Give me an item. I might need it. What do we get? A black goat. I mean, if we need blood. But it takes one blood to place you anyways. There we go. Uh-oh. That's not good for us. Alright, now I have a 2-3 raven on the board. That helps. And let's draw one of these. Grizzly, actually. Oh, if anything dies, it gets played. Fantastic. Wish I'd drawn you earlier. It's a close one. Draw another. Hmm. I think we wait. We are taking three a turn. We're dealing one, two, three a turn to them. Yeah, we're tied for the moment. Or maybe not. We'll be alright for now. Hmm. How are we doing? If I do five damage this turn, which we can do just by summoning you, no need for corpse eater, but fine. All I have to do is take out three of these. His damage and the ravens wins it for us, I believe. Four, six, yep. That's it. There we go. It was costly, but we got it done. I imagine you I imagine you'd like to replace that eye you lost. Hmm. We've done this one. I'd like to do this one again, to be honest. It's cool. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. The choice is final. There we are. Now, I've done this before, but... It was fun to look around with it. Maybe it shows different things. Yeah. See, this we've done before. Shows exactly where. Put everything. And that's how you find the right ones to open up the cuckoo clock. Wait a second, there's another one up there, maybe. Anything here? No. Nothing here. We're here. I will get out of this room someday. Hello. Keep sealed. Or what? Ah, the agony. 
The first time we find this, uh, he says different stuff. I've done all these before. If you can do them again. For science. I'll see if you can do these again. Then. Can you do these again? Can we do these again and get new items? I don't think so. No way to find out. Go back down. It's three. Two. Still fully... I don't... I still don't fully understand how this works. Three, eight... We're doing five damage to you. Yeah, we've already done it, so... They don't reload. I wanted to f see if they reloaded or not. The answer is no. Already done most of these. Take your tooth. Well, the eye's not really showing us much this time, so... Once you've done the eye once, you don't need to do it again, it looks like. Okay. Well. There's the mycologist. Do we anybody combine? We could combine the two. These guys make it 21 21. Just because we can. Clean up the deck a little bit too. Um, or we, we can infuse the adder, hopefully, into something. I kind of just want to make the 21 21, to be honest. Just to say that I did it. I think that's a clear choice. Skink. Elk fawn. Grizzly. Or I could combine my Grizzlies into an 8-12. But that just bloats my deck more than I'd have. I'd, nah. Let's reload. Let's reroll. Re Moose buck. Oh! The Dauntless Bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. It costs two. Kingfisher. Can I like, take none? My deck's already pretty heavy. For science. Let's see if I can just press S. Can I like back... I leave this without taking more. Click my deck. No, I have to take a card. The Kingfisher... I mean... Eh... I guess the Bloodhound? Infuse its ability into something, maybe? It's not terrible. It's 2 three's okay. Combine. Yes. Do, do you have the... the they are not victims. Oh. Combine. Yes, these make it. You you may want to avert your eyes. Oh. It's horrible. What what have we done? Yes, 2121. So powerful. What can you do against such such overwhelming might? I need to get that thing corpse eater. I can. Need another item as well. Unless we meet again. So we do. Mole Turkey Vulture. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Well, oh! The Grizzly has a corpse here. I could play you. I need something to die. Which means I need, I need something. You have nothing that attacks the ground, sadly. What we can do is put you down murder you to put the stunted wolf I guess here to start working on that turkey vulture the vulture will just fly over and not attack it I must trust you I could put the stink bug there to reduce its damage we'll put the stink bug I guess out of here we end turn a decent first turn okay Alright, so, Raven Egg. The Pronghorn is actually going to be a problem. Well, once it kills something, the Grizzly will come into play, which is not terrible. Um, squirrels. I could use the Squirrel to summon... I could use the Squirrel to summon the Grizzly, like, naturally right now. Or, you know... Not. And we can, uh, end turn. There we go, soften him up. Death take me. Careful now, he says. Actually, very low hit points. Two more, we're done. Well, my turn. You'll soften that up. You'll take that out. And, um, your turn. This will do nothing. This will take out you, take out you. You'll be dead. You'll move forward. So that, so that Elk Fawn will deal one damage to me, and you'll transform. We can take that one damage and survive. 
and my grizzly will get summoned. And we can draw squirrels for taking pain, I suppose. Ho I hope I calculated this right. Oh, the overkill from the stunted wolf. Nice. Wait. No, oh, the raven. <sighs> Note to self. Remember. Creatures that transform get to attack after they transform the same turn. How disappointing. You're telling me. Luckily, if we make it to the end and beat the boss, that candle gets relit. And that defeat means almost nothing. If we can just not die again. Boss snuffs out of flame anyways. Just need to not lose. What is this? Zero one one zero zero one zero zero. Last time I got that, it played a random card. It became a random card when I drew it. The pronghorn. The sparrow. Clearly. Clearly. We choose that. What do we strengthen? Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, set a hungry survivor. I'd rather have power. Fine. Can I click these? No. Oh. So many choices. Hmm. Make my stunted wolf stronger. Do what you must. Stop this. I can make you into a 4 8. Probably spread the strength around, to be honest. You're already strong enough. You're probably good enough already, to be honest. You haven't drawn you very er early that often lately. Too many cards, I guess. Could make you a little bit better. Same with all you. Raven Egg, a little bit tankier. You. That's a good choice. I could make the Grizzly stronger. I mean, six hit points isn't that much. Yeah. Or I could, like, take a risk and put something up there. I could actually use this as a way to kill a card. We could use this as a way to, like, get rid of the Bloodhound, actually. It's a two cost, it's just a two, three. Guardian moves it around the board in a way probably don't want half the time. Yeah. Get it. Keep it right there, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful. But the survivors looked hungrier by the second. Push your luck or pull away. Push your luck. The most I've had so far was three times, and they killed it on the fourth. Sometimes they killed it on the second. Lucky. That smell, said one survivor. Your luck had prevailed thus far, but could it hold out? Would you like further, or run back? I believe. Oh. The creature was becoming impressively powerful, but several survivors were now drooling. Recklessly continue? Yes. No. In an instant, several survivors set upon the beast. My greed. Blood and bones littered the campsite as the poor creature was torn limb from limb. Sick to your stomach, you turned away from the carnage and retreated. Awful. Could you have done it mercifully? It's fine. I'm not sure if I'd rather have a 2 9, 2 cost, or just get out of my deck. Hmm. It's more interesting to see how far you can push it. Or the totem. I'm happy with the totem we have. Um. Sometimes this can give you something really good. Totem battle, though. I'll take the risk. That We might get something amazing from there. All right. Oh, Stinky. They reduced my power. I love that that ability is just called Stinky. It's funny. <laughs> Me again. Hmm. I'm not sure why you don't have Stinky. So there'll be one ones. Hmm. Well. I can put the squirrel anywhere and get it killed. Wait a second. Can I? No, I can't place it there. Okay. I was going to say, that'd be a game changer. Um. Sorry, you'll die. You'll give me something to fly with. Or I could sacrifice you now. I sacrifice you now. One, two. The alpha is dead. Stops buffing them. Probably best to kill as soon as possible, right? Unless I draw something that can instant kill it in one turn. We'll see. Put the stink bug down to get rid of this thing's uh, buff that it's going to get. We'll try that. Good play. Thank you. I thought so. That way he doesn't have... Ooh. 
doesn't have the uh, buff on it. I wish uh, I'd played it there. Of course, they might have put that there then if I'd done that. Alright, so... Oh... Squirrel, go here. Take the damage. I could sacrifice you for the bullfrog. I don't think the bullfrog will kill you in time. Good try. Oh, it has stinky. I'm so stupid. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, we screwed up. Oh, we screwed up big. Oh, we screwed up big. I think we've... We already wasted one candle, didn't we? Oh, we've... We've literally lost... Alright, so we... Items. Items, items. We have... A squirrel, so maybe we don't draw a squirrel card. Alright, we got you. You cost... Fortunately, you cost bones to summon. Um... Oh, so I can't play it all. I can use a squirrel to summon the black... I, there's... We've literally, there's literally nothing I can do. Oh, I forgot about the stinky and... We just... Uh, we, we lost? Nothing I can do. Long elk. Can't play you. At all. These won't help me play you. Um... Squirrel and black goats. Neither of those can stop the flyer. This one flyer alone just ends me. You won't stop it. You won't stop it. Nothing. I can make these two fly. And you'll do one damage. So... So, we... We... We, we make you fly. I'll do one damage over them. And... Then we block... We block the wolf cub with the squirrel. <laughs> we can live another turn, maybe. Wait, no, because this raven just flies past the stink bug. Now we lose. Wait for it. And... Well, we played poorly. And thus deserved to lose. But what will our death card be? Do we get lucky and turn that 21-21 into something? You made it so far. The problem is my one OP card, I just stopped drawing because my deck got too big. Kept kept not drawing my OP card. Your death card. Beautiful. Though it could use some detail. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. Oh, unlucky. A three cost or a four cost? Boo. Why do I only get two choices? Fine, the three cost. Well, this is a death card that's never going to get used. A three cost? Yeah, right. Three blood from the grizzly. And another. This time I'll use his power and health, the numbers. Oh, this is gonna be the worst death. This is literally the worst card. This is the worst death card we've ever had. A 1-1 one, one that costs 3 blood. Well, we're never picking this card if it shows up. Wish I could- can I like delete bad death cards? Which sigils? Make it jump up? I mean, we can at least give it a touch of death, so... But yeah, we're never gonna use it. Sprinter and touch of death. That's a death card that will never get used. Ever. I even went through all the effort to get a 21-21 in my deck. And we drew it at the wrong time. We drew for the cost, not for the hit points. Just about one last thing to do. Stay still. You're a tough mistress. Say cheese. So be it. Well. So much for that run.